what's up guys today I'm gonna to be doing a first look and kind of a, my thoughts and impressions on this Palm Rady build I just did this is my first um, Palm Rady build and my first 80% lower um, pistol build um, so yeah let's get into it um, why I chose to build a Palm Rady um, first off I love the Palm Rady Palmer 80 platform and all the adjustments they've made to the frame such as the double undercuts on the trigger guard um, the stippling job that comes on this straight out of the box love the Picatinny light rail um, this little recessed uh, mag release right there um, and it's at a great, a great price point um, so that's what I love about the Palmer 80 platform why I chose to go with this over building an OEM Glock. I've done that in the past and it is awesome obviously, but I wanted to do something where I could build exactly what I wanted um, and not have to deal with buying an OEM Glock and then going and finding a slide that I want and doing all that and then having an extra slide and whatever. So I, this was a cheaper route for me to get exactly what I wanted um, with this compact. Um, so this is the Palmer 80 PF940C, and that's their compact model. It fits all the Glock 19 Gen 3 parts. Um, and I love this thing so far, man. I mean, I've put about 1,300 rounds through it. I've had absolutely no um, flaws with it. It's run perfectly, perfectly fine, and super smooth. I mean, I have no complaints with this thing. So... This is not at all a guide on how to build one of these things. This is just, like I said, my impressions on it, how I'm liking it so far, and kind of the parts that I chose on this. So with the um, frame and the slide, I went with ADP Builders. I was kind of skeptical at first because I couldn't really find a whole lot of reviews on them, but I'm very glad that I did. They offer this package, which, let me, nothing in the mag. Get that out of the way nothing in the chamber um they offer this package which is this is the triad so it comes with the completed slide with this barrel the frame with all of the lower parts kit an oem trigger um, and that's it and i added this magwell the apex trigger the zev back plate and obviously this zev mag extension and those are all the upgrades i've made to it um I opted for the threaded barrel. It has pictured a different thread protector on there, but it ended up coming with this one. Um, it has this pictured when you build it, but then in the configurator, it's got a different one. So I was surprised that it actually came with the one that was pictured, but I, I like that one a lot. Um, as you can see, it's got nice front serrations, back serrations. I chose the RMR cut. I've got my Holosun 507C coming in the mail, and I'm going to throw that on there when it gets here, as well as some suppressor height sights. Um, but yeah, it's got this all, I mean, these are pretty, pretty deep serrations right here. Super easy to manipulate. Um, it's got the long window cut here, window cut on top and the same on the side. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think they do a great job. Also, it's got that, it's not a full on bull nose, but it's definitely, definitely chamfered down there on both sides, but not on the top, just a tiny little bit on the top, but the chamfering runs all the way down um the side of the slide um but yeah, I mean, but yeah i mean with this i think this is at an excellent price point um for this kit without the things that i added on secondary obviously this was 562 dollars shipped i believe maybe 560 somewhere around there um so i think it's an excellent price point i obviously like i said i couldn't find a whole lot of reviews on adp builders but getting it in hand and Looking at the quality, I mean, the machining is great. There was no, nothing that I can complain about. It's run perfectly since I've put it all together. Obviously, with Palm Radies, I was a first-time builder. I use Marine Gun Builder on YouTube, and I'll put a link um, in the description to his channel. That dude is excellent and was a really, really good source of knowledge when it comes to building one of these for the first time. So I did have a couple of things that I ran into that were um, kind of finicky and tolerances weren't right and I had a, a few I ran into a few problems um he was that those videos were able to help me 
get all those worked out. And once I got those figured out, um, and basically what I've read is it's, it's too, not to be expected, but it's most likely you're going to run into something. I mean, you're building this from 80%. So getting the tolerances and everything right is, it's part of the fun of it, but it's, it's kind of a pain sometimes. Um, but like I said, this thing is awesome and I'm definitely going to build another, I think I'll do the Glock, the full size, the Glock 17 Palmer 80 next. Um, if you like building stuff and you've got the tools and you're good with your hands, I think that this is an excellent option. You can get a really, really awesome Palmer pistol, um, for a great price point and get a lot of really awesome features on it for a lesser price point than if you went and built a OEM Glock out. Um, so yeah, man, I mean, I've got nothing bad to say about this. Um, I'm sure everyone's got their opinion. I love this thing so far. Runs great, looks great, super reliable. Um, and I think it's at an excellent, excellent price point. I think I paid a total of, with everything, I'm, I don't know the math off the top of my head, but um, for everything I paid 560 for the kit and then I bought the trigger kit for 130 from a local gun store. And then the cross, this is the cross armory magwell. It's really, really awesome. Um, it does have a tiny little gap in the back. If you guys are looking at picking one of these up already, which I don't really have a problem with, but I love this magwell. Um, obviously that Zev backplate I got on midway for about 20 bucks. And then this Zev mag extension I got on midway for I think 32 bucks or something like that. Um, so overall, I don't have a whole lot invest into it other than the, the kit, but I absolutely love this thing. Um, and yeah, I can't say enough. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're looking into doing this, um, there's so many guides of how to do it properly and they recommend what tools you need. Um, and it's just a lot, a lot of help. So if you're good with your hands, you've got the tools to do it and you're looking to do, I'd say go for it. It's, it's a really awesome platform and I really enjoyed building it. Um, I look at it kind of like as a, a guy's Lego kit. I mean, it's, it's really fun to build. Um, so yeah, I mean, if there's any questions, feel free to comment. I will definitely answer those for you. Um, but I, I mean, I can't say enough good things about this build. Um, I'll definitely get a video posted of the 17 that I do and how I like that. But for now, absolutely loving this thing. Like I said, if you have any questions or want to know where I got anything, um, I'll get, I'll get all those comments answered and be more than happy to help you guys with whatever you need. So thanks guys.